Welcome back to the Hall of Origins! As we continue this celebration of 10 years of Five Nights at Freddy's, let's take a look at the series' leading female character. Chica the Chicken, the backup singer of the Fazbear crew. Mostly known for carrying around a cupcake as her stage prop and her insatiable appetite. But let's take a look at the origins of this iconic yellow bird. Back in the first Five Nights at Freddy's game, Chica could be seen as almost a duplicate of Bonnie. Just like how Bonnie stays on the left side of the building, Chica occupies the rooms on the right. But unlike Bonnie, she has a little bit extra added when she goes into the kitchen. The kitchen's camera is always disabled, so you can never see what's going on in there. However, through sound, we can hear that whenever Chica is in the kitchen, clanging sounds can be heard. This is what I believe started the whole running gag about Chica being obsessed with food. I mean, I get it. If a character is constantly hanging out in the kitchen, I would think that they love food as well. She's also slightly more aggressive than Bonnie. While Bonnie could be seen as the easy level character, Chica is more of a medium level threat. When she appears in your right window, she tends to stay around a little bit longer than Bonnie does. But the mechanics are still the same. Just close the doors to keep her at bay. However, if she does make it to your office without you seeing her, gasping noises will be heard coming from her. <laughs> Early on in the franchise, rumors were getting around that these sounds were coming from the phone guy, who you can hear speak at the beginning of each night. The reason being, on night 4, it is implied that phone guy is killed by the animatronic characters and stuffed into one of the mascot suits. And on certain cam views, you can see the extra set of teeth in Chica's mouth. However, these rumors were proven false since it's an endoskeleton that we're seeing in Chica's mouth, not a lifeless body. Now moving on to FNAF 2, all the original characters have gone through a state of neglect and are just plain falling apart. The Fazbear gang has now been replaced with the new and improved models, leaving the originals to take up space in the back room, with the sole purpose of being used for spare parts. In this new withered appearance, her mouth is detached from her endoskeleton, giving her a constant open beak. <laughs> and at first you would think that Chica's arms are permanently at her sides, which makes sense, seeing as how that's how she's shown in the majority of the camera views, but when she makes her way into the vent, her arms are now facing forward. So I guess her standing like that is just because she wants to? Huh. But just like Withered Freddy and Withered Bonnie, when she pops up in the office, quickly put on the Freddy mask to confuse her into thinking you are one of the animatronic characters. Now it's revealed much later in the franchise that the child's soul trapped inside of Chica is a girl named Susie, and that she was the first life lost and put into one of the character suits. But in FNAF 3, you are able to set her soul free by completing a series of mini-games to achieve an event called The Happiest Day, where Susie and the souls of the other kids are set free to the afterlife. But Chica's presence still persisted in the franchise. Her next appearance would be in FNAF World, where she serves as one of the starter characters. Her moveset is mostly support-based, cupcakes, party favors, and regen song. Cupcakes gives back a large amount of life to your party. Party Favors does the same thing, but also does a little damage to your opponents. And Regen Song is a move that gives a little bit of life back to your party. And then there's the bane of everyone's existence, ugh, Chica's Magic Rainbow. So in the Halloween update of the game, there was a mini game released as a part of it called Chica's Magic Rainbow. In this game, you play as Chica and have to make it to the end of the stage while a smiling rainbow looms over you and spouts insults. Is this your first time to play a video game? Ha! <laughs> Poser! Chica's Magic Rainbow is voiced by Debbie Derryberry, and if that name sounds familiar, it's because she's voiced characters in a variety of projects, such as Jimmy Neutron, Nurgle Jr. from The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Wednesday from the animated Addams Family series, and Coco Bandicoot from the Crash Bandicoot series, just to name a few. Yeah, this is a rage game with how many times you'll get killed throughout. But I love what happens when you actually click to mute Chica's Magic Rainbow. Oh really? It's like that! Voice is off, you say! Well now you really p*** me off! You still suck! And you know what makes things worse? She comes back for the final battle! <laughs> Surprise! Wow, I kind of went off on a tangent there, didn't I? Let's get back to Chica. 
So after FNAF World, Chica's next contribution would be in Pizzeria Simulator. Well, not her directly, but Susie, the girl inhabiting her suit. There's a mini-game you can play called Fruity Maze, where a young girl travels around a maze collecting fruit. Every now and then you can catch a glimpse of Susie's reflection playing the arcade game. As you continue to the higher levels, the game starts to distort, and yellow rabbits start popping up as well as bleeding puppies. Yikes. Susie's reflection is now more noticeably distraught. You can also see William Afton in his rabbit suit over her left shoulder. When the game ends, he will try to lure Susie away by telling her that her dog is not dead, implying that the arcade game is mimicking a real-life event. Jeez. Chica's next appearance would be an Ultimate Custom Night. Her mechanics are much different than they were in the original game. Keeping Chica from jump-scaring you depends on the music box. She will stay in the kitchen, making noises with pots and pans. But if she stops, that means she's bored of the music, and you have to change it to something else. If you don't do this in time, or change it when you're not supposed to, you get jump scared. Not really sure why this is a thing, but I guess sometimes you have to get creative to come up with a motive for this many characters. This is also the first time we get to hear the original Chica's voice. But it comes from her withered appearance, voiced by Darby Worley. Now going on to Help Wanted, it was amazing to finally see Chica move in real time, as well as playing the Parts and Services segment. In this minigame, Chica is a mess. No, like literally, she's a mess. She has pizza slices all over her that you have to remove, and she has a massive insect infestation. And the way to remedy this is that you have to use this spray to repel them. Of course, it's not as bad as the Nightmare version, where you have these gigantic creepy crawlers moving around in the background. <laughs> why, Chica? Why? And guess what? We almost had a voice for the original Chica, but it was cut. But it still exists on YouTube. Hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a treat. So sweet. But keep an eye on your pizza. Cause I'm a bird who likes to eat. No, 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 no. Funny enough, that's exactly what I thought Chica's voice would sound like. Now, when Special Delivery came out, Chica was given three different skins. Liberty Chica, Little Red Chica, and Scorching Chica. By the way, I just want to point out that Special Delivery was so creative with their skins. It's like, I wish the game didn't end and they would have just kept going on creating stuff like this. Now in the lead up to Security Breach, a series of Hanna-Barbera style cartoons were created called Freddy and Friends on Tour. Chica in these cartoons is just one of the crew running from Foxy. But of course, they did fit in her love of eating, as she downs an entire sandwich at once. That's so Chica. Let's hop over into live action with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. In this film, Chica's suit was created by the Jim Henson Creature Shop. Jess Weiss was the performer inside of the suit, and Amanda Maddock puppeteered Chica's animatronic facial expressions. While going unnamed in the movie, the child's soul inside of Chica is played by actress Jophiel Love. Aside from being a part of the scenes that the other characters are in, Chica has two standout scenes to herself. The kitchen scene where she confronts the character Carl, and the scene where she tries to force Abby into a spring lock suit. But fun fact, when asking producer Jason Blum and writer Emma Tammy who was their favorite animatronic from the movie, they both said Chica. So that's pretty cool. Chica has been a favorite ever since the beginning, and there's still a lot of fans that adore her. As the franchise moves forward, hopefully every now and then we'll still get to see this iconic yellow chicken. <laughs> 